welcome to Mama Toast. Toast. Toast on Zine. And I'm Zen. Today we're going to be doing the story of uh, Peter's Great Miracle. And it's basically about um, this girl who was one of Jesus' disciples. You know, not one of part of the 12 disciples, but just a part of one of... And she was a believer and she loved God and she loved Jesus and Jesus also loved her. One day she got really sick and uh, then Peter came and helped her out. And that's what the story is about. And then after that, we're going to be doing our drawings and our activity for today. So we're going to have, we're ha the activity we've been doing today is we're going to be making keychains out of freaky things. It's going to be really, really fun. I've been planning doing this since a long time. Since like last year, the day we started Bible Tales. No, not the day we started Bible Tales. Well, like a few months. That we're going to do freaky things on the Christmas special, but it would be a really big hassle since we had so many guests over for the Christmas special. Yeah. Yeah, and shrinky dinks, when you do shrinky dinks, you um, put them in the oven and they shrink up and stuff. So I thought it would be kind of, you know, take long. And there's so many people here, so we didn't end up doing it on Christmas. It's actually pretty, like, easy and fun. Yeah, yeah. so that's why we're going to be doing them today. We have our keychains. We're telling you guys what we need, what you guys will need to make the keychains also. And, yeah, so for the drawing part, since we have to, like, you know, draw on the shrinky ding paper. It's not paper. On the shrinky ding sheets. And then, yeah. and then color it up and stuff. That's going to be our part of our drawings. And then after that, we're going to be doing our... You basically need cutting paper. Like yeah, string paper, markers, some markers, pencils, color pencils, an oven. scissors, an oven. Or just, like, even if you have a heat gun, that would work, too. And um, there's, like, other techniques that you can do that, too. And then you also need some of the uh keychain rings okay you can take that off of your other like old keychain or something else or your old car keys yeah something like that and we also need a few jump rings to attach the keychains and you also need a hole punch or if you to... don't want to do keychains you can just like do it normally but we're going to be doing keychains or you can do today. pins or you can also do some uh earrings and stuff which i love doing earrings right then that makes some, like, rainbow yeah also for rainbow my rainbow. um friends and stuff so yeah. it'll be really, really fun. So without any further ado, let's get into the story so then we can move on to our activities. So once upon a time, a very long, long time ago, so Peter was one of Jesus' disciples, one of the 12 disciples, and he was the head main disciple, and Jesus, and Jesus loved him. And basically his background was that he was a fisherman. And so one time Jesus was, you know, around this lake area, and he was over there fishing. And so Jesus came and told him, uh, and then he became one of Jesus' disciples, and he was very pre precious to Jesus, and Jesus loved him. He also used to preach in the church, the first church that was made, and he used to preach there, and it was like he was the head kind of pastor there. So one time, and he was also used to go to other people's houses and homes to preach, um, you know, uh, for them and what people wanted to know and if they had any questions and like stuff like that and any personal issues Or anything they just wanted to discuss that was about the Word of God. So one time what happened this uh, Family it wasn't exactly family. So there was this girl her name was Trita and so she basically used to work And she used to make clothes for widows and just poor people in general she used to help them out and she was also one of Jesus' disciples, but obviously well, not part of like the 12 main 12 disciples. Just like, you know, she used to be a believer. She was a strong believer. She loved God and stuff like that. So, um, she uh, was very sick one day and he used to, she used to help people. She was very kind to poor people and also she used to make clothes for poor people. So, one time she was really, really sick and then she died and everyone was really, really sad because she used to help people. She was such a nice soul. And she was amazing and really, really kind to everyone. So Jesus told Peter that go over there to her house and help her out. And so then Peter went to her house and over there he saw all of her friends and all of her colleagues and helpers that used to help her out. And just people that knew her and her relatives were crying and were so sad for her. And then Peter bowed down on his knee and started praying for her. And then he called her name, and then she woke up and rose from the dead, and everyone was very happy that Peter helped him out. And that was Peter's great miracle. And that's the end of today's story. So now we're moving on to our activity for today. So let's get started. Okay, you guys! 
guys, so we are back now and we have our supplies here for our drawing slash activity that we're doing today. We have our color pencils and our markers now. So we have our shrinky dink paper, they're not paper, um, sheets also. And shrink paper. Yes, not shrink paper, like shrinky dink paper. Um, the plastic sheets, right? Yeah. So we have those here. And so, um. And caution? It's not a caution, but it's a warning. These are like really sensitive and they can rip. So, like, I suggest not to play with them or anything. Yeah, and they're very sharp too from the edges and the yep. corners. So you might be want to be more really careful. And when you cut them, they can definitely like fall apart. Not fall apart, but like break apart where you I don't see. want them to. And they can really just, um, like, poke you in the skin. So be yeah. careful with that. Anyways. And they're really sharp. So, um, if you guys want to use color pencils instead of, uh, markers, then you, what you need to do, or you can just get already, um, matte sheets. They're not actually like matte, but they look matte. Well, basically, so a normal sheet looks like this and it's like glossy, right? And like you can this. find these more like easily and for more cheaper. You can get like a big pack of 100 for like not a lot mine's of money. all glossy. So Zines, so I did a little bit of mine. So what you're going to do is are you guys are going to take like a nail file and don't worry, I didn't use this for my nails. It's just, I'm just I've am i been using them for the sheets. Or you can use sandpaper. I lost my thing of sandpaper or I would have yeah. used that. And it's very loud, so we're not going to be doing this in, on camera. But, and um, it's yeah. it's also annoying. It's like nails on top more. Yeah, kind of. And so if you want to use um, colored pencils for your drawing, and that no you're going to be... And nails on top more. Anyways, listen. So um, if you're going to want to, if you guys want to use the colored pencils, then you're going to want to... Um, first roughen up your surface and make it a bit more rough and so it looks matte. But you don't want to, if you guys use uh, markers, then you can leave it like this. And you can also get the, the shrink paper in like clear versions or colored versions now. So you guys can yeah. go get those too. But we just have plain white ones here that are very simple. Once we got the colored so ones if and you, then like... You guys, if you're doing the colored pencil ones, make sure that you leave this part like only the part that you're going to be coloring on top of and like drawing on top of only roughen up that place and not the part back part because you want the back part to be nice and glossy and look all nice and snatched up, you know? So yeah, so mine is done and I have it rough and it's like, you can see it's like matte, not glossy anymore and Zion's is still glossy. Like see, this is the difference. Mine's not glossy, Zion's is glossy. You want to keep the backs glossy, but you don't want to keep the front. If you're using color pencils, if you're using markers, then you can, you know, go ahead and keep them um, glossy. So we're going to be back after we're done doing this. And we also have Zion's iPad right over here. And yeah, we have Zion's iPad. We have my phone. And we're going to be basically tracing them so it, they look nicer. And I suggest you guys trace them off of either your computer, your laptop, or your iPads, or your phones even. You can use them with the phones. We're going to be do, tracing both uh, out of both of these, like my phone and Zion's iPad. And then we also have my little box. But I mostly suggest an iPad. Because it's bigger. Yeah. yeah. Because an it's bigger and it would be. Or and it would be easier to computer, make. Yeah. yeah. Or like a laptop. Because those are big and they're easier to make. And like when you trace on phone, phones and little devices, it's like actually kind of hard. Because like they're so small. And then like if you're doing a lot of detailed stuff, it's going to be really hard. And you might not. Okay, so I have my little stuff from showing you guys. So this is like my box of like jewelry making stuff and just things that I usually use for jewelry making. Here I have a little necklace that I made. It's a cute little bird cage. I really love it. If you guys want to have a different separate episode just about, um, you know, jewelry making and stuff, comment below and I'll do that for you guys. So you're going to need these keychain things. You can order them online or get them at any hardware store. And you can also, um, but online you get like a pack of like a hundred for like a really good price. Yeah. So you guys can use these and I have a bunch here. So yeah, so you need a bunch of these or you can use uh, um, them out of your old keychains that you might have laying around, you know, or a car key or keychain. And then you're also gonna need some jump rings. Now jump rings, this is what they look like. They're just like this ring that you kind of open up and you, if you do have pliers, you can use them, but my jump rings, I can open up like with my hands. So it's fine, um, but yeah. And then if you're going to make earrings, then you, you're going to want to um, either get the studs that you need for the earrings, like the little stud pins, or you can get the little hooky thingies, the hanging kind. So you're going to need those if you're making earrings. So that's basically all you're going to need, and like a little file and some scissors and also a hole punch and a few colors. 
So now I'm going to be showing you guys a few of the things that I've made um, before. So I made this cute little hamburger, hamburger keychain. This, I made this when I was a big beginner, beginner and I didn't know much about, um, you know, making. that's why it's kind of dirty looking. But this is the only one that I wanted to, like, that didn't look so good that I wanted to show you guys. So you guys kind of get an idea of what it might look like if you're just a beginner. So this is what it looks like. Fries and a bottle so of I made two little char um, charms to go with it, like this cute little um these fries. size of fries and this cute little ketchup, ketchup bottle Everyone likes ketchup on this, this is something that i recently made and it's a more professional thingy we're not going to be using um resin today but if you guys want to you can obviously go ahead and do that and also it's perfectly placed so i made this cute little cupcake with a little cherry on top it looks so cute and i made a pin out of it and you can use this as like a badge or put it on your jean jacket or you know whatever um, yeah, yeah, so I made this cute little pin to put on your backpack and stuff. And so basically, I just made it out of shrink things, obviously, shrink it up. And then I put some resin. That's why it looks like this double clear thing on top. And I put the little pin thing. Tip. We're going to be only making keychains, though. But so you guys, we are coming up with a resin keychain in um, activity episode, also. So, yeah. so just stay tuned for that. Anyway, so we're going to be back after we are done sending these up. And then we can start drawing. Okay, you guys, so we are back now, and we have our, uh, our sheets are all nice and matte. As you can see, now Zion's is matte like mine, and the backs are glossy. So, we both have one sheet, and no, you don't have to use one sheet for one keychain. You can use one sheet for multiple keychains and multiple things that you want to draw. So, um, this is what Zion's going to be drawing. Zion has this picture of um, this rocket. rocket over here. Sorry, the iPad has kind of the dust from the thingy here. Or uh, from the, you know. Yeah, I know. I keep on drawing rockets because my dream when I grow up is I want to be a scientist. Or this is Zine's Bitmoji that he has for Snapchat. He wanted Follow to draw me this. Or like add me. <laughs> so and yeah. Zine underscore king. Well, so, the thing. So this is Zine's thingy. He wanted to draw that. Also, he wanted to draw this Among Us thingy because Zine and, and me. We used to play Among Us a lot, but now, now we just like don't feel like playing. Yeah, still, but Zion still wanted to make like a cute little keychain out and of it. And then the new airship map thing. So yeah. And yeah, so he also has a bunch of these ones here so that we can also, um, he, if he wants to have one like Among Us with a hat, he can do that. I took this picture, took a snapshot of this cute little rainbow that I really liked. I thought we can do that. I also, a also Zion wanted this pug. I might end up doing that. Um, we also have this cute little pizza over here. And remember, the bigger you're going to draw this, the more, like, it's going to... I'll explain later. Um, but anyway, so Zion also took the snapshot of this cute little dragon. dragon. Black. Yeah. Black and gray. And then cute little panda over here. So cute. Well, cute little watermelon. Like, robust. Your name was Panda Girl 1, 2, and then I had this cute little um, kitty donut that I also thought was really cute. And this cute little Ariel. Um, like baby Ariel. So Don't really think cute. Like, so we're going to get started. And um, yeah, so I have my little page right My page. <laughs> I keep calling it page. So my little sheet here. And it my will be able, you will be, you'll be able to see this. Right. And especially if your brightness is up. Let me cut the brightness all up. So first of all, so I'm gonna be doing the one. I'm gonna be the one who's doing all the tracing things, right? So okay. So Zion's bitmoji was a bit too big for so me to draw. So we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. And don't worry, it'll be fine. So now we're I gonna need. Always take snapshots of my bitmoji. So like we're gonna start drawing them up, and then we'll be right back after we are done, and when we need to, you know, move on to the coloring part. Oh. Okay, guys. So we are back now, and we have. Um, like, we've traced our... It took, like, two, three hours. No, it didn't. It took, like, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So, we are done. So, Zion has his sheet, and I have my sheet. Pretty full, book of them. I'll tell you guys what I made. So, I made my... You, you guys movie. probably can't see them right now, but we're going to color them in, and then you'll probably be able to see them. Mm. So, we're going to start now. Um, yeah. So, I have a rainbow. I'm going to start with the rainbow first. Um, first, I'm going to color my bitmoji.
when you have like when you've like um you know kind no. of when you've already uh made your dinghy like sanded it you've already sanded it and it looks like it just like the pencil glides on top of that and it just like feels so good coloring i know like every piece of paper should be like this i know like it's so smooth it glides on top but it's not a glider <laughs> and never glide with a pencil you would really die put my pepperoni in then we're gonna do the cheese and like a little bit of the details and the crust Ooh. If you love watching like, I love eating my crust. Like I feel like Pizza Crust, I love it. And especially pizza. I would crust. I would rather Pizza Hut crust all oh, has the cheese in it. I'm not even kidding. If you order the cheese pizza from Pizza Hut, they No have no, you know, even if you inside. Yeah. If yeah. you get um the I messed up. Anyways, so twenty hours later. Yeah, I'm if you get the cooking. Pizza Hut normal like you know, cheese, pizza. cheese, like pizza, with like pepperoni, or whatever on it, just like a normal cheese pizza. Yeah. Then you're probably gonna like the cheese will flow into the crust. Oh my god, it's so good! It's like a stuffed crust, but you don't pay for the crust, like stuffed crust, you know. <laughs> so it's I better. Need something for the Whenever I play Among Us, every one thing, because like my favorite color is red, so I pick red with like the crown hat. And like everyone thinks I'm imposter because everyone always thinks red sus. Like once, sometimes the game just gets glitched and they're like, once there were three imposters, I play with three imposters all the time. There's a bigger advantage of you being imposter. Once me and Hosanna were imposters. Yeah, and one of my friends, right? Robin. Yeah, all three of us. Yeah. And so when my friends, right, so all three of us, so me, Zion, and her, one time we three were imposter, and it was so, like, fun. Fun. I was really cute. <laughs> well, it was cute because we were, um, like, we had the eggplant hats, and then we were, like, I, I was... I was eggplant. No, I, you were eggplant. I was yeah. orange. No, no, I was lemon. You were orange. And then my friend was um, eggplant. And, like... Like, we did a triple kill. We were in yeah. a triple, we sabotaged, I sabotaged. Now we're going to be doing pug. Okay, you push it. I'm going to put it here. Push. Push. Okay. Done. So. Also, he has three eyes. Okay, so now that they're done, I'm going to go grab our tepe, and we're going to go put them in the oven, and they don't even take that long, they unfortunately. Like seconds. Yeah. 30 seconds. Um, uh, yeah, so. Why did you just say unfortunately? No, unfortunately, we guys won't be able to show you guys the clip when they shrink up. Oh, yeah. But, um, obviously, but we'll show you them after they are done shrinked up, you know. So, we'll be back after we have oh, them yeah. in keychain form. Okay, guys, so we are back now and we have all of our, our shrink eatings all shrunken up now. And,. So we're gonna go one by one and show you guys what we like, you know, how they look after they're chunking up. So you can go first and show them what you have. So you guys, I I made the little amongus thing in I made the amongus body. I made a yellow because like it was the only one I liked from all the mm -hmm. and like it was actually the only, but also imagination. So I they I, can't really see that. I made it with the crown hat and I made Pugadug as you can see. My most beloved. And you guys, I also made my Bitmoji. Little cool, little not. And the best in honor of life. Dr. Herb. Frosty, the frost dragon. Okay, so then I made this for him sign too. And then this one, right? Put on all of them. Now I'm going to show you mine. So this is mine. It's the first one. So I really like giving my um, shrinky things like, I was like some of them, this curved Y, like curved effect. I really they like look, it. It looks kind of like greedy and stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, look. So I really like that. And you can see the hole right here. So, yeah, that's that. And then I have my little area. I love little baby Ariel. And my little rainbow ring is my favorite. Then we have my H. H turned down. Okay. And the pizza is kind of okay, too. I'm not really into these two. 
but I like these three very, very much. So Zion picked out his dragon and himself, the little bit emoji and the little crown guy. These are the three that Zion's gonna put the keychains on for today. I and was I'm gonna be to find my bitmoji. And I'm going to be like putting my I'm gonna be putting my keychains on these three ones here. And um, as you guys can see, the back is like very nice and glossy, and the front is nice and matte and colorful. Now I'm gonna be putting the jump rings and the keychains inside of the little key, um, you know, actual key things. So this is how you're gonna be opening your jump ring. So you don't want to open it like this, like tear it apart. You're going to want to open it like this. So you want to have one of these here, one of these here. And then you're just going to put that into one of the little, you're going to put that into the hole that you made with the punch, hole punch thingy. And then you're just going to put your, so now I'm going to be putting in the keychain and then you're just going to, with your hands, close her up and you want to make sure it's together like that. And it's like crossing each other and you have your nice little keychain. So I'm just going to be doing those to the rest of these. And yeah. Okay, open it okay guys, so now I'm gonna, you're going to open it like this. And I'm going to start off by putting it inside my Among Us guy. Then you have to put it in. I don't know how I'm going to put it in, but I'm trying to. The struggle. Ah, okay. We're going to put this inside that and we're gonna close up the jump ring just like this but you can take them out whenever you want to for now you have to close it so that the keychain wouldn't fall off and boom So now we're going to be doing the Morph Day story. It's the Morph Day story. And before I tell you guys, make sure to go comment below the Morph Day story. Also, just like Tamita, when she was sick and she basically died, God helped her. Just like that, we also, when we follow God and we love God, believe in God and follow on his path, then, and if we love him, then he also gives us his love back. And, and then he blesses us with tons of blessings and gives us righteousness and provides us with everything we need. And, and in times like when the coronavirus was here and in the starting, everyone was so scared. God helped us and he gave us patience and he blessed us with a lot of different things. And just like that, if someone is sick and you pray to God, follow, start following the path of God, then God obviously helps you and starts caring for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to comment below the more of today's story. Also give the video a big, 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 big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Ring that post notification bell so you guys know every single time we post or upload a new video. Also, um, I know this time we had Pagoda here again, but next time I promise, promise, promise that we will have Emma here. Emma. And yeah, so I also hope you guys enjoyed today's activity that we did. I had so much fun um, doing them and I hope you guys try them at home because they were a lot of fun to do. And I had a bunch of fun talking to you guys about them. And just, yeah. I'm talking to you guys in general. Stay safe. God bless you. Bye.